Let's talk about the Merrifield family because finally things are happening. Finally. Things are actually things. This was a good episode all around, I would say. Yeah. Because they're going to Brazil. Brazil are bust, baby. Yes. So we see them packing, right? They're going to Brazil to have the tough conversations with Roberta. Yeah. The whole goal of this trip is to, one, reignite the flame. Mm-hmm. And I, I don't know if that's a dual reignition. If, if we know Garrick needs to reignite that flame. I don't know if Danielle needs to reignite that flame. I don't know how many pieces of kindling are going to be in that fire to be reignited. But goal number one, reignite the flame. Goal number two, help Roberta or encourage Roberta to book her ticket. Your mouth is open. I feel like you're going to say something, but (laughs) let me just put a bow on this. If someone isn't willing to book their own ticket, you don't, you don't want them to come. You shouldn't, if you have to force someone to book their travel ticket, they probably don't want to come. Especially when you're paying for it. And you know what? Maybe she doesn't know how to book a plane ticket. Mm. She doesn't seem like a traveler to me, right? No. But why doesn't she let them to book the ticket? And and they very well might, or I'm sure they've offered. Because you know why they did not? Because she doesn't have her papers. She does, though. She well, said she, she has got- to pick them up. Uh, she says she's gotten correspondence from immigration. Yes, but they said, if I remember correctly, that she has to go and pick them up from the embassy or something. Mm. If Roberta saw what we saw, she would be running to the airport. If she saw the first class accommodations that the Merrifields travel in. Oh, yeah. Roberta would be sprinting. Towards First that airport. class, United, and they didn't even blur the logo. Was it United? Yeah. Oh, because I wasn't sure. I couldn't tell. I thought, oh, is that JetBlue Mint? No. Oh. I, no. It was first class. I don't think JetBlue flies internationally besides like the Caribbean. Oh, they sure do. Do? Yeah. Do they? Oh, yeah. I can tell you off the air how I know this. But JetBlue Mint is the way to travel. Really? Oh, yeah. Anyways, they, whatever the Merrifields are doing, they're doing it right because they're flying all sorts of first class. They get to Brazil and they meet Marcella, the translator, who's waiting in the van. And another thought, this is separate from if you're needing someone to book your plane ticket, then they don't want to come. This is if you need a translator on day one, you don't need a translator. You need a different sister wife. Yeah, so I was literally thinking about this this entire time that how is the relationship going to work? I mean, listen, she eventually is going to learn English. Freaking B. Marcel from 90 Day, the beekeeper. Yeah. He can speak a little English. He's getting there. So she will. I would give him a B in English. (laughs) I would give him a D for now, but. Well, I was making a B pun. I mean, I would not give him the D, but I would give him the Whoa, C. Whoa, you have no <laughs> D to give. Is D the penis? It's the dick. Oh. <laughs> but yes, she may eventually learn English, but yes. to get to a point where you say, I love you and I want to spend the rest of my life with you, you need to communicate and learn a person and learn your relationship and you need to speak the same language. She's going to communicate with her vagina. And she's going to give the V and... <laughs> and it's true, but there's more to life. It's not all banging and butterflies. There are serious conversations to be had. And that's the reason, that's the excuse he gives of why there's a translator. Well, because on this trip, we have a lot of serious topics we need to discuss. That's life. There's a lot, th- there's things you need to talk about on a day to day basis. So if you need a translator now, sorry. Yep. So they get to the Airbnb. It's nice. Another first class accommodation for the Merrifield. It looks really nice. And I've never been to Brazil, right? But when you think of Rio, you just think of something very exotic, at least myself, and the huge beach and hotels and and the Jesus, right, on Mm, the hill. they They showed Jesus. Yeah. Jesus. But you don't think of, at least, I've never thought of townhouses. Mm. Right? Which is probably silly. But when I saw the townhouse, it literally looked like a street in New York. Uh, Wasn't it? 
Was it a true townhouse? I think so. It was an Airbnb. It was a private home. I didn't know if it was a freestanding single family home. I think it was. Yeah. Either way, it looked lovely. It got immediately sad, though, when they start describing the floor plan of the home. And Garrick's like, well, there's two bedrooms. So Danielle can have her own room. And she's like, yeah, so I don't have to sleep on the couch. And she was like tongue in cheeking it. She was being sort of funny. But that's the truth. But that's the truth is if there weren't two bedrooms, Danielle would be relegated to the couch. Oh, yeah. And it's it breaks my heart. Yes. But Gary is like, well, I have not seen Roberta in 15 months. I got to get some sexy time with her. Give her the, the D. Yes, the D. The D. So next day, doorbell rings. Here's what else I noticed. Danielle wearing some sexy boots. She looks like some, Jane from Tarzan. Some sexist boots were made for fucking. And that is what she'll do. Yeah, that's you don't not get the, what she'll you do. You don't get the reference. That's the boots were made for walking. Oh. Well, All those, right. Th- those Therese is learning are, a lot on this podcast. Well, I know that song. But okay. those boots are made for staying in the second bedroom. Yeah. No, but that's the thing is like she's sexing it up because she. Oh, yeah. Right. She's not oh, just yeah. going to show up in sweatpants in a stained T-shirt. Oh, her head. All of a sudden she, she does her hair like this. Like, ooh. Yeah, but not put on I some just boots. flipped my head, guys. Put for some boots on. Those who. No, make the people upgrade to the family affair yeah, level if they want to see Yeah, for those who don't that. see, I just did my hair. I was just a little, little sexiness. But she's totally trying to be like. You want to risk giving this up for Roberta? And here's what I'll say. Roberta shows up at the door. We meet Roberta. She's a lovely looking lady. I find Danielle more attractive. I find Danielle a bit sexy. I hate to say it, but me too. Especially with the hair. And the boots. Well, the boots are... The boots were popular in 2005 because I wanted them so bad. Or 2006. Really? <laughs> yeah. Maybe later. I just okay. Uh, they're very. Two thousand and eleven. They're very sexy, but not practical at all. Because you get you get in the mood. It's time to go. So I'm ready to give you the D. That is a zipper. I'm ready to get, no. And then Danielle's like, oh, she didn't for have a ten zipper? minutes. She it takes her ten minutes to undo her. She boots. didn't have a zipper on the boots. No, I don't. Not that I saw. But um, they all they go sit in the kitchen. And they're talking through the translator Mm -hmm. and Roberta's feeling the love. She's saying she's never felt so much love as there is now. And it's the most beautiful love, but it's also the most difficult love because of the distance. And Danielle says, yep, I feel that too, but it's going to be better. We're all going to be so much happier once we're together in America. Sure, Danielle. But Roberta says something that I'm like, really? She's like, I love how emotional Gary gets when he sees me. Mm. Really? Mm. He cries all the time. Yeah, she doesn't know that. She he doesn't cries know. on FaceTime. Mm, true. And that's the thing. Like, if he, you know, they haven't seen each other in 15 months and it was the first time he got very emotional, I would be like, you know what? That's beautiful. That dude freaking cries all the time. All the time. It's like, it's it's the opposite of, uh, oh, he's he's cute. He's so, like uh, people like an emotional man. I love when you drop a tear here and there. Not often, guys. This does not happen often. Not often, but yeah. Like you dropped a tear at our wedding, right? You usually drop a tear when I make you a gift. Uh, yeah. You love my homemade gifts. Yeah. They're very emotional, yeah. And that's pretty much it. But like you don't you don't cry, cry like getting like <laughs> literally five times a day. Yeah. Dude's yeah. gotta do something. Yeah. And then let me know because I also like to shed a tear, especially when I see some nice photos of lovely seals. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. So then they're all sitting there and Roberta brings up how we tried for a baby on the last trip. God didn't allow it. It wasn't God's plan. <laughs> but now she realizes, I think we should wait until we're all in America to try for a baby. I love how they call it trying for a baby. It's called sex bitches. If you're not trying for a baby, it's called sex. If you're trying for a baby, if that is your main reason, your main motivation, you're trying for a baby. If it's just, if it's business, it's business. If, if just it's pleasure, meet, it's listen, pleasure. If you just meet someone, it's called sex. Not if the intent is to have a baby. If the intent is to procreate, then you're trying for a baby. They're going to have sex tonight. 
and for everyone's sake, we hope Garrick packs some rubbers. That's going to be sex. That's going to be sex. That won't be trying for a baby. That'll be given the D. <laughs> and hoping they don't. So have when a you're B. trying for a baby, you're not giving the D. You are giving the D. But the intent is different. Oh, you're giving the B. You're trying for a B. Yeah. Yeah. But this is music to Danielle's ears. What she's going to hear later will not be music to her ears, but this is music to Danielle's ears that Roberta wants 